the radio is playing. Another one bites the dust and another one dead. <laughs> That's so ironic. That's so funny to be playing that on the radio when you know there's people just like hitting the ditch right now. It's not that bad right now, but like there are some areas that haven't thawed yet, obviously. It's 38 degrees out. Isn't that crazy? I would think that everything would be thawed, but like look at all of this. All this like snowpack. I guess that sticks around, doesn't it? God, we don't get enough snow for me to even know. But um like they've been, they've been leaving it like in the parking lots and stuff. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna melt and it's gonna refreeze into black ice. So that's lovely. Super, super smart guys. We're so smart. Anyways, I'll take y'all down to the river so you can see like what's going on over there. Another one, pass the dust. <laughs> Still can't believe they're playing that on the radio right now. That's so funny. <sighs> I really didn't film driving it yesterday because everything just kind of happened at once. My phone got cut off at like the least opportune time, I guess is a way to phrase that. And I thought, at first I thought, oh, my service isn't working because the towers are down. So I drove to a different area that I knew had a different tower and it still wasn't working. I was like, this is weird. So I went to Walmart and I tried to connect to their Wi-Fi and it wouldn't let me connect to the Wi-Fi because you have to have data on your phone to be able to go to the page that gives you authentication to use their Wi-Fi, which is stupid. But that wasn't working. So I was still under the impression, oh, it must be because of um, cell service is down. I tried to make a call on my phone and it was like, your service has been disconnected. And I'm like, oh my god. So, I drove to the AT&T store. And they're like, you have to pay us 200 and something dollars. Maybe it was less than $200 to get your service turned back on. I didn't have the money on me, but I do have a friend who's like, oh my god. Amazing. An amazing person. And he's been super helpful this entire journey since since the day I ran away from the abuse. Um, <clears throat> so, that's been pretty cool. And, uh, anyways, so, I asked him, I'm like, you've been generous so far. Would you be willing to help me get my phone turned back on? This is how much money I need. So he sent it to me, and I'm like, yes, cool. So I got it turned back on. Um, great, great, great. Because, I mean, without my phone, I can't work. <laughs> like, I would be SOL without my phone. Like, and I was like, can I set up a payment arrangement? And they're like, no, you can't do that. You have to give us all the money today. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, I would be totally fine with them, you know, charging the extra 40 bucks to get it turned on. I would even be fine with them hitting me with some sort of late fee, even if it was like a $50 late fee, but if they would just give me two more weeks to pay it, you know what I mean? I could handle that, but to, it was so unexpected, and I mean, I guess I should have seen it coming because I had set up a payment arrangement, and then I failed to make the payment because the money was not in the account, and then uh, they shut the service off after like 24 hours or whatever. I'm gonna go down to the other part of this river, get my morning started, and then I'm gonna work until it gets too cold to work again. It's 34 degrees right now. There is technically ice on the road. Every now and then I do hit it and slip a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday was kind of dangerous yesterday, but uh, it is what it is. I was one of the only idiots in a car like mine out on the road yesterday, that's for sure. I, I see in like one other one one other car like mine. Everyone else had like a truck, you know, off-roading 
vehicle, something with snow tires on it, something with nice tread on it, always, like, like, they knew what they was doing, you know, I, I was just out there slipping in a slide and traction things going off on my dashboard and sliding through stop signs and red lights, you know, it was, just, it was hell, it was hell. It's a good thing I'm a good driver, though, because, like, oof, oof. I know it doesn't sound like it, because I'm like, well, I was slipping through, I, through stop signs, but, um, no, I am a good driver, and I do know how to drive on snow and stuff. Um, I kind of want to go down here. Maybe a little better of a view. Look at that. All of that sidewalk up there is snow. And there's the river. It's pretty, pretty. going to Taco Bell and skating on this ice in my little car it's like playing this game of like how slow can you go because <laughs> all of this it just looks wet is now black ice it's 33 degrees out so it sometimes it trips me up because it'll be like a colder spot you know so it'll be black ice and I'll be like slipping on it of course it, I didn't catch on the footage but There's ice over there on that side that I, I've gone over it like three times myself. Other people have gone over it as well. That's going to be, this. all this is going to be black ice in the morning. But that speed bump is going to be a massive motherfucking pothole. I couldn't think of the word. But it's going to be a pothole. All this is going to be black ice and this is going to be slippery. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do until it thaws. <laughs> Hopefully it won't take too long, right? But there, that ice is so thick, it's like a speed bump. Did I say that already? So yeah, there's going to be a pothole, and that sucks, man. But, um, they're building a Starbucks. They built the Popeyes recently. McLaurin's moved in recently. There was something else in the building at one point. But they built the Popeyes for Popeyes. And then they built... They're building Starbucks. I swear to God, somebody told me at one point they had, like, built a Starbucks and they tore it down. Like, I guess I blinked and I missed it. 
So, um, gas is cheaper here, 248. Or maybe gas prices just gone down recently, I don't know. But all these little bergs of ice on the edges are, have like melted throughout the day. And then they're gonna freeze overnight and be black ice for a bit until we can get it all to thaw off and then be dry. So, a lot of videos I've been seeing on the internet about that is like they'll take the snow plows on the edges and like distribute out the snow so it all melts. This is a little small town. So we end up getting these uh, massive potholes because there'll be chunks of ice on the road that people drive over and it makes it so much worse when people put salt on it, you know? Anyways. Um, yeah, walking around in this, it's it's kind of slick. I was walking through an apartment complex, and the design of the complex is just weird. And I just walked through the back of some apartments. It was faster. And there was ice, obviously, so gotta be careful. The little shortcuts and stuff.